morning, the Irish police are assisting Catalan officers investigating the murder of an Irish woman in the holiday resort of Salou. The victim, a 36-year-old who is understood to be a mother of two, was found dead at the Hotel Magnolia in the town at 9.30pm on Sunday. Her 30-year-old partner was discovered beside her with self-inflicted injuries to his hand. He was initially treated in hospital before being arrested on suspicion of murder. Local police believe the woman was strangled after a ligature was recovered at the scene. An Irish liaison officer based in Madrid has also travelled to Salou to assist with inquiry. The Irish suspect remains in police custody and is expected to appear before a local judge today. Hunting Iberian wolves could become legal again as the main opposition party joined the far-right Vox in vowing to end protections for the endangered animal in a bid to attract rural voters. The People's Party, leading the polls ahead of a July 23rd general election, promised to reverse additional protections for the wolves in its manifesto published yesterday. The PP's manifesto said it sees hunting as part of a deep-rooted cultural heritage in a large part of society. The proposal aims to appeal to farmers who say the nationwide ban has driven more attacks on livestock. The ruling Socialist Party was forced to backpedal on stronger animal welfare laws earlier this year after an outcry in rural areas over its potential implications for hunting with dogs. The People's Party would also reform the tax system and cut taxes for lower income earners if it comes into power. The government yesterday declared an end to the health crisis brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic and said people no longer have to wear masks in health and nursing centres nor at pharmacies. Over the past two years, Spain has gradually ended the mandatory mask wearing, first in public and then on public transport. The government approved the measure at a weekly cabinet meeting yesterday. It takes effect once it's published in the State Gazette in the coming days. And the suspected Syrian ringleader of a people smuggling gang which offered VIP services to migrants travelling from Africa to Europe has been apprehended by the national police. The gang operated from Libya to Spain and had cells in Sudan, Liberia and Algeria. It also ran dedicated drugs, arms and money laundering trafficking. It made up to 4 million euros smuggling over 200 people to Spanish coasts aboard high-speed boats that left from Algeria. The network charged up to 20,000 euros for a VIP service which included disembarking at different points on the coast from other migrants. From there, they were extracted in high-end vehicles with strong security measures. Raids led to 15 arrests in Almeria, Roquetas del Mar and Malaga, and 13 properties were searched. A pistol, two high-speed boats, seven vehicles and some hashish was also seized. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.